Some time ago I got some uh, requests to do tutorials about uh, Greylock sidecar. You can run uh, uh, agents like um, NXLog, WinLog or FileBeat without the need of or without implementing uh, the sidecar. Uh, but for those requests that came uh, to make a tutorial about the Greylock sidecar, here it is. Uh, just like the name says here, if you're going to the official web page uh, for the Greylock documentation, you'll see that Greylock sidecar is a lightweight configuration management system for different log collectors, also called backends. And the Greylock node acts like a centralized hub which contains the configuration of the log collectors. So that means that actually with uh, Greylog, you're pushing some kind of configurations to your agents, annex log, file bit, or win log bit. And then these agents on the machines, they take that configuration and uh, they start, uh, ba or based on that configuration, they start to send log messages to Greylog. And the way the Greylock pushes those configurations is via the API. In this video, we were going to focus on this side right here. And on a later video, we were going to focus on this side right here. So first we will start with Windows and then we will move to Linux. Over here in the installation, uh, we have um, a link to the page from where we can uh, download uh, the sidecar. So we were gonna get directed to GitHub. We, in this case, we were gonna look for the exe file, this one right here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this link right here, and I'm gonna do it directly on the agent, uh, sorry, uh, on the Windows machine. But before we start uh, configuring something, um, you need to make sure that your times match. Because if they don't match, you're not going to be able to see your messages in Greylock. Or you might be able to see it, but after a very, very long time. So over here is um, 442. And uh, it's actually EDT time or uh, Washington time or New York time. And um, on our Greylock server, let's check it. We have 642.28 EDT and it's the same here. So everything runs perfectly uh, regarding the time. So they are synced via NTP, both uh, machines and right now let's open Google Chrome and let's download uh, the Greylog uh, installer for Windows okay so now that is finished let's install it we will gonna click next then agree and right here, it will gonna ask for the URL of the Greylog API. So we will gonna put HTTPS because on our Greylog server, the URL you see it here. So I can just copy and paste this one right here to make it easy. Yeah. So right now we have HTTPS and then the IP followed by calling 9000 and then forward slash API. Uh, here you can enter a, a name for this instance. I'm just gonna leave it to default. I really don't care about it for the purpose of uh, this video. And right now we will need an API token. To create your API token, you need to go to your Greylock server, go to system, authentication, and right now we have a part with uh, sidecar system user. So we will gonna click on more actions and we will do edit tokens. 
and here I'm going to say Windows. Windows 10 and I'm going to create a token. The token is created. I'm going to click on copy to clipboard. Then I'm going to go to the Windows 10 machine and paste the API token. And I'm going to click on install. Okay, and right now it's finished. Going back to the official documentation for Greylog. Uh, you can see here that uh, you could have uh, installed it from um, command line, from command prompt. And uh, then option, optionally you need to edit the configuration and to register the system service. So let's go um, over here in this destination and edit the YAML file. So I'm going to click on WordPad. And over here I would uh, like to change a very small thing. The TLS uh, uh, verify. Uh, we don't really want to verify the TLS connection. So we were going to put it to true because we want to skip it. And by the way, you can also do like, um, you can encrypt the, com the, the communication between the uh, Greylock uh, sidecar agent running on the backends um, to the Greylock server. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to do it. And here is where uh, it will going to look for the default uh, collector binaries uh, for um, for sidecar, by default, you have uh, file bit and winlog bit uh, dot exe um, after you install sidecar for Windows. And uh, additionally, you can also do file bit, you can do packet bit, metric bit, hard bit, audit bit, annex log, and so on. But for this purpose of uh, this video, I'm just going to focus on uh, winlog bit. Let's close this file after we have saved it. And let's go back to the Greylock server and this time we will gonna create an input a bits input and I'm gonna do select input bits launch we were gonna leave it to default this is the port 50, uh, 5044 um, we can do global if we have multiple Greylock nodes and in the title we can put something like uh, bits or we can say sidecar why not And then I'm going to click on save. Let's check if uh, our input started and it did. Uh, then let's go to system and then sidecars. And we will need to go to the configuration page. And over here there are already created some uh, lock collectors. Uh, let's check for example win lock bit. And this is how it looks like. This is the executable path, the execute parameters, uh, and so on. And you can uh, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to change the destination uh, because we have this is our Greylog IP, and this is what we want to push to the backend to the Windows 10 device. And this is the port that uh, it will use to send the logs. And I'm gonna click update. And by the way, you can uh, create your own templates. You can do whatever you want pretty much with it. And for example, here, if you're thinking to create uh, your template, you need to be careful related to uh, process management. If it's a Linux one, you need to choose foreground execution for Windows, Windows service. And then also here you'll need to change the operating system type, Linux or Windows. And then you click on update. Okay, it's updated. Let's go back. 
and here we will going to create a new configuration uh, for Windows Sidecar and we can name it Windows Sidecar we can also change the color let's choose something with uh, blue uh, the collector we will use winlog bit on Windows and you can see here the template for the configuration which is here you can also do a preview if you're interested okay close and then we will gonna create it okay uh, and then we will need to go to administration part and there is actually something wrong here I think that we haven't started the sidecar on Windows so I think we will need to do this one here so let's try to do this on the Windows 10 host let's open a CMD yeah and then do this so we get an uh, access denied because we are not using this command prompt as administrator so let's go to command prompt and uh, execute it as uh, or run it as admin So we can go here and check for um, command prompt. You know what? We we can also do it in. Uh, Ah, okay, here is the command. We could have also done it in PowerShell. So we will just need to run it as administrator. Click yes. And right now let's, uh, let's paste the command to start the service for Sidecar. And it says that Fail to start the Greylock sidecar, the specified does not exist as an internal, as an install service. So first we need to install it. Let's just hit the up arrow and do an install here. Hit enter. And then let's start the service. And yeah, right now it works. And we should also see it in, uh, in Greylock. Let's go to administration and yeah, bang, it works. Uh, then we will um, select WinLogBit because this is what we want to use. We didn't uh, install NX Log on uh, the Windows 10 machine. So let's just leave it like that. Then we can go to configure and we will apply the configuration that we have done on the configuration page. So I'm going to click on this one, I'm going to click on confirm, to push the configuration, okay, and right now we will do the, pro we will going to go to process and start. And you should have already seen some messages here coming in. Uh, after that we can go to overview, and by the way you can see that the status here changed uh, from question mark to play button, so it's running fine on green uh, you can also see the Windows sidecar configuration that we have done previously and if we were gonna go to the overview we can see it here we can see the node ID of the Windows 10 that we have uh, where we have installed uh, Greylock sidecar and here if we were gonna click on show messages we can see the messages coming in from that node and as you can see, it started to receive messages from uh, that node. And pretty much that's it. 
you can uh, configure it this way you can have it this way uh, but uh, just to have it uh, a little bit uh, more simpler for us to interact with uh, the messages we will create a special stream we can say here sidecar sidecar logs we were going to remove the matches from all messages stream and here we were going to do a rule uh, we will say that it requires a field presence and we can say here bits type so for example if there is any kind of uh, message coming into Greylog which has the field of bits type it can be routed to this stream and we were going to click on save then we will do a, a message must match at least one of the following rules click on ok and click on done after that we will we will start the stream and right now let's uh, try to close this connection let's see if some messages will be generated And yeah, some messages were generated uh, and you can also see it here. And this is the last message that it got, an account was logged off. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share the video and talk to you guys in the next one.